Welcome everybody to Awaken Dive. Um, bear with me as I try to get through this video today as it won't be easy for me, but I wanna share with you guys exactly what I mean when I say I feel like I'm being led uh, to start this platform. And, and I wanna share just a little bit of, with you about how the, this has transpired. So my name is Howard Rizzio and I'm a person in long-term recovery and, and I've been completely blessed to be able to share and devote almost all of my time to being of service to other people and and in in hopes that they can recover from their suffering and whatever that suffering may look like and and I also get to spend the majority of my time in self reflection and restoring and rebuilding and loving the people that are right in front of me and and trying to be an example or a light to others who who struggle. That brings me to the testimony of a person that uh, that is very instrumental. His name is Stephen to me, and uh, and I want to share with you just exactly how that relationship has blossomed into other relationships, and how God has touched this individual's life in such profound ways that the ripple effect is being felt uh, uh, in his immediate circle, and certainly with me, and, and the reason that I'm starting this. Uh, this adventure, which make no mistake, I've said this before, there is not a fiber in my being that wants to do any of this. There is no part of Howard that wants to wake up every day and get on camera and, and, and share his testimony to the world. But, but I think you'll get a little better idea of exactly why I need to do this uh, um, by the time this, the end of this video is over. So I met Steven sometime last year, uh, in the fall of last year, as he was uh, he was struggling from addiction and, and he had just walked away from a treatment center and he walked for four days to get home and, and Steven was completely homeless, completely destitute, completely alienated from anybody that he had ever had a relationship with, his brothers, his sister, his father, uh, his children, his family. He had no money, no job and nowhere to go. I began to develop a relationship with Stephen and I got to witness uh, his life being restored. I got to witness the presence of God in his life and, and to see this man go from homeless to home, from family list to restored family, uh, from no job to job and promotions and license and car. And, but more importantly than that, I got to see this man go from completely hopeless to smiling and laughing and joking and, and seeing the presence of God in his life every day, witnessing the coincidences, seeing the synchronicities, being in love with every single breath he took in the moment and, and gotten to share the last moments of his father who was his hero and did it with grace and dignity and, and share such precious moments with all of his siblings and, and he even restores, begin to restore the relationship with his children. And uh, he was certainly blessed and certainly touched by God. And, and unfortunately, as many of us do, uh, Stephen relapsed and uh, he relapsed in May of this year. And I wanna take a few moments and read to you exactly what Stephen had written to me on May 26th of 2023 as, as he fought desperately to get back into the rooms and, and, and we had daily communication and not just uh, not just over the telephone, but face to face and uh, spending time with him and, and doing everything I could to, to kind of show him that, that people still cared and, and, that, um, and that he still has a chance to have victory over this. So I want to share with you his exact words uh, and bear with me, this is going to be difficult to get through for me because he texted me on May 26th of 2023 and I've only shared this, these messages with a couple of people and only one of them I did where I actually read it aloud and, uh, and I was unable to get through it. So, so bear with me as I, as I share this with you guys. This is Steven's exact words to me via text message on May 26, 2023. I love you, man. You have been awesome. We can start going to different meetings and I will go with you. Forgive me for being selfish. You have a servant's heart and a warrior spirit. Your testimony alone is one that you need to share more often. Start a YouTube channel, maybe a blog. Spread the message. If one out of a thousand hears it, applies it, and lives a blessed life, and more importantly, goes out and shares with others because of you, and it goes on and on and on, 
then you have done well and God will bless you. Don't be discouraged. Paul was often discouraged by the actions of the churches like Corinth, but he pressed onward and did what God told him to do, having faith that there was a greater purpose. I will go with you, Howard. I trust you and I love you. When I left treatment, I walked about three or four miles down the road and went down into this valley, off into this long and grassy area to a wooded area and came across this old shrine looking thing, all weathered and looked like it had been there for years. I picked it up and this is exactly what it said. Road of Ministry. Howard, as you walk toward the road of ministry, may the spirit of God surround you. Always remember that the Lord has promised to be there, whether you are on a valley, whether you are in a valley or on top of the mountains. If you should get ahead of him, he will humble you. If you falter, he will encourage you. His grace is sufficient for you to carry out the ministry he has anointed you to walk in. His blessings will follow you wherever you go. On Father's Day, June 18th, uh, 2023, just a few weeks after those words, myself and two other people broke into Stephen's house and, and found that he had passed uh, from his addiction. But God continues to speak to me through him and through the relationships that I had built. because of my relationship with him, including the one with his brother, Jeremiah and his beautiful family. So in honor of Stephen, awakened out of his been birth. And I will share my testimony to the world hope for, to fulfill these words. <clears throat>